there is not only the damage from that storm last night, but flooding across Oklahoma as well. Understand that some of the rivers have not even yet crested. With that, we bring in Republican Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt, who is traveling near some of the flooding damage. Governor, appreciate you taking the time to be with us. It's often hard when you're not from the Midwest to understand the scope and the depth of the damage and what's happening. Is this normal storms in Oklahoma in the spring and early summer, or are we experiencing something far worse for you all? Well, this year, the flooding for sure seems far worse than normal. We're approaching uh, uh, 80, the 1986 flood. Muskogee is uh, still peaking. Uh, we've got the Arkansas River that flows through Tulsa and then down through Muskogee. And um, it's just unbelievable the, the damage there. We've had to evacuate a town. Uh, and then you throw the, the tornadoes on and, and El Reno. Just so you understand, sir, we're, we're putting some of the video that your office put up uh, on the uh, web of you touring some of that flooded damage. We can put that video back up. You talk us through what you saw from the helicopter, sir. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we've got the Arkansas River, and that's all meeting there at Muskogee, the Grand River, and uh, you've got uh, uh, tremendous widespread damage over uh, our farmland, uh, some of the communities. We've been monitoring some of the dams along the river. Also, we've got a lock and dam system that we've uh, been monitoring. Uh, I've got the National Guard out walking the levees to make sure that they're fine, and uh, it's just unbelievable. We're we're uh, hoping and praying that the rains will stop and this uh, it'll crest finally today, and then we'll start getting on the other side of this. Now, we're watching some of the water rescues. You said the National Guard's already been called out in some places, still water in others? Uh, that's correct. We've got them uh, there walking some of the levees, and then they've helped with the evacuation in the town just east of Muskogee and uh, helping. We're building, uh, building a road through Camp Gruber to uh, evacuate uh, uh, some different areas. Yeah, we're watching some of the first responders bringing people out in uh, boats right now from our aerial pictures. Uh, specifically to the damage and uh, the deaths in El Reno, uh, how much has things changed since the Moore tornado uh, when there were so many dead? Lessons learned? Have lives been saved this storm season because of those? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, our community, uh, they know how to take cover. And, uh, you know, our meteorologists, we have some of the greatest weather forecasting. Uh, this one just kind of popped up on us, and, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the storm descended very, very quickly, and we didn't have a lot of, a lot of warning, uh, but luckily it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a huge, huge tornado, meaning it wasn't really wide, right. and it didn't stay on the ground for a long time. But obviously the, the effects there, you saw those photos. It was just devastating. We lost two lives. We've got other people injured. Uh, Man, we're but, watching uh, them watching some of the cleanup right now. Uh, governor, uh, this is the worst of times to be the governor, but probably in a, in a way uh, you're seeing the best parts of the human condition as folks in Oklahoma come together and help their neighbors. Uh, we know you're headed to El Reno tomorrow. Check back in with us. Uh, Godspeed and our thoughts and prayers uh, to you and your constituents out there. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. We'll talk to you soon.